So this example, we have an amount deposited. Now, is this a monthly deposit? It doesn't say anything about monthly or periodic payments. So right away, all these periodic options are out. So we have to decide what row we're on in the chart. The bottom three rows are out. Now it's compounded, which means it's not simple interest, not simple interest. So we're right away down here on the third row. And as to which of these formulas do we want to use, how long will it take for the balance? So how long we want to know about time. So the first one is solved for PN, which is the final amount. You can see that down there. The second one is solved for R, which is the rate. We already know the rate. The last one is solved for N, which is the time in years since the first or principal deposit. So that's the amount of time total that has elapsed. So we want the third option. So first thing I'm going to do is write the formula N equals log of PN over P0 divided by K log of 1 plus R over K. All right, so we just have to put the values into the right variables. So PN is the final amount after N years. We don't know N, but the final amount we do know, 2400. Uh, P0 is the initial amount, 1200. Just so happens this question is, uh, want, we want to wait till it doubles in value. Uh, the interest is 2.35, that's the rate, but we turn that into a decimal. So it's 0 0.0235, which of course is 2.35%. You just move the decimal place over twice. And the last is compounded daily. So daily is not a number. However, daily is the K value, number of compounding periods in one year. Now, technically a year uh, has usually 365 days. There is leap year. Uh, so we're just going to use 365 for the number of days in a year. Uh, that's how most financial uh, computations are made. Uh, so we're ready to plug in all these values. So we have 2400 divided by 1200 divided by K is 365 times log of one plus the rate 0 0.0235 divided by 365. Okay, so to type this in, in a calculator, we're gonna go over and use the Desmos calculator. A few things I like about it, one of them is it's available online so all of you can use it, regardless of if you're on a Windows or Mac computer or even a phone. And it also has an undo button, which is fantastic in case you ever make a mistake. Uh, so I'm going to clear everything out. I went over to function to get to log. Now back to main, it already gives you parentheses. So we do 2400 divided by 1200. Now I'm going to move the cursor with the mouse, close the parentheses. And now we want to make a fraction, so we're going to do divided by, so there's our 365 times, going back to function to get log. You can type these in on the keyboard also. So it's 1 plus 0 0.0235 divided by 365. And I'm going to move the cursor and close parenthesis. There we go. Okay, and so we got that and equals it was 29 point something 4965. Okay, so what units are these in? Well, I covered up what units the problem wanted, but let's look over here time in years. So this is a number of years. So if they want months or days, you're going to get have to convert units, but uh, they want years. So there we go. That is the right number of years. 
Again, this financial formula flow chart is in chapter seven. Just look for it there. It's super, super necessary for all of these questions.